At San Diego's Air and Space Museum, you can see lots of planes. In fact, if you want to know the history of aviation, this is a great place to come. But today, the emphasis is on space, as in way out there space, as in the new Webb Telescope. Unless you happen to be an astrophysicist, it's hard to know what to make of the images from the Webb Telescope, which is mounted on a spacecraft that's now orbiting the sun. Fortunately, we have the museum's director of education, Becky Gould, to help us out. I think that you can even treat these images as art and kind of take in the beauty of our galaxy. Uh, and then there are ways to simplify things to colors or to things that we do know on Earth. And that's where the kids come in. Stomp rockets, the perfect way to relate to the younger set how a very big rocket got the Webb telescope to where it is. And there's more. We have pinwheels that are in a spiral shape so that you can kind of uh, have a 3D model of the galaxies that we're seeing. And we have some NASA giveaways and we also have some spy glasses that we're allowing the children to look through so they can practice being astronomers just like the people of old. The reaction from these young would-be astronomers? Well, the spy glasses and pinwheels seem to be a hit. But what about the Webb Telescope? What does it do, the Webb Telescope? Um, it makes you can see really close far. Um, it's a telescope that just went into space. That is absolutely right. And what does it do? What makes it special? It's it can take photographs. It sure can. Photographs that will, for the rest of all of our lives, show us astonishing new discoveries, create questions that we never before thought to ask, help reveal greater insights into the essence of our existence, of life itself. John Carroll, KPBS News.